in my lifetime as an infectious disease person for over 30 years. I've never seen so rapid development of the science behind this viral infection. After merely two weeks of its first report out of China, uh, the, the virus was fully characterized genetically and understanding and having that information allows for the development of vaccines that are part of components of the virus, et cetera. And there is a uh, compound vaccine that's going to be started in the United States April 1st, conducted under the National Institutes of Health. There are two vaccine trials already in China that are underway, so we'll get some information. The problem with the development of any vaccine is you need to go through a number of steps or what we call phases in order to test uh, tolerability as well as safety and then in some uh, individuals at risk, uh, some of the vulnerable populations, uh, including those that are elderly or have other medical conditions uh, at risk for developing severe COVID-19 infection, uh, we'll do those and then finally we'll get to uh, general vaccine trials in the population to look at efficacy, and that is a phase three uh, trial. But best estimates, even though we've ramped this up as much as we could, at least in the United States, are probably 12 to even 18 months away from having that available for widespread use. But that's faster than most other vaccine uh, strategies and, and programs where it can take years and years for that to come out to the market.